when you were first drafted into the NBA, no one expected you to be a top guard like you are today. What was your motivation to get to get where you are today? I never care what anybody thought, you know, and I mean, you have to, I was 17 when I got drafted, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, it, there's a reason that an NBA team is drafting a 17 year old kid. You know what I mean? If I wasn't ready, they would, I clearly wouldn't be drafted. I would go to college. And so, um, I remember Stephen A. Smith on draft day. Um, he said right after I got drafted. Now imagine being a 17 year old kid. And you've been chasing this dream, and you have an opportunity to um, to actually successfully complete this mission that you've been on. And at an early age, like I said, I was I, I was I was barely even legal. You know what I mean? And so <laughs> I got drafted. And the first thing Stephen A. Smith said was, "The 76ers are making a huge mistake, and they're they're donating a jersey to this kid." And we could have took that to heart as a family. But instead, we just used it and said, well, we'll just we'll pin his picture on the wall and we'll just make an example of him that he's wrong. And sometimes when people talk, it doesn't mean because they have a platform to talk, like we just mentioned, doesn't necessarily mean you got to listen. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean you have to succumb to that. So my motivation has always just been um, to have an opportunity to provide for my family and play basketball at a high level. You know, that's always been my motivation. And and so that's what I always encourage other young guys to do when people say negative things about um, them coming up. And at the same time, you also got to understand people get paid a lot of money to say outlandish things. Uh, you know what I mean? That's part of the game as well. So that's been that's been my motivation. <laughs>